Buenas and half a day guys, I'm going to be making a new makeup tutorial for you guys today. I'm going to be trying out some new stuff for you guys here. And before we begin, I just want to thank you guys so much. If you do like videos like these, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and like this video so that way I know that you guys actually like what I'm doing, you know what I mean? But I don't want to talk too much, I kind of just want to get into the tutorial. I don't know, I want to make like a hazy, smoky eye thing going on. I don't know, we're just going to, we're going to roll with it, okay? Anyways, thanks for watching and let's get on with the tutorial. Okay guys, so to start off, we're gonna be using the Benefit Precisely My Brow, and then we're also gonna be using the Benefit Give Me Brow. I have the shade number four for the front of my brow, and then the shade number six for the tail of my brow. I have a mirror here, because last time I tried to do my makeup without like a really big mirror in front of me, it was difficult. I saw shit that I did not need to see. So I'm gonna start off with the front end of my brow, and I'm kinda just feathering it out. I'm using the help with Mr. Spoolie here to make sure that happens, because you know, if we don't use Mr. Spoolie, it's gonna look like a whole box. One problem here, do you see that guys? I like to use the number six for these sparse areas because it's really dark, you know what I'm saying? So since it's dark, I don't have to put too much pressure, but it does help with the blending process when you use a lighter shade in the front and a darker shade in the back. Do you see the grainy? Do you see the grainy? Yeah, it looks fucked up right now, but don't worry, I'll fix it. The brows is looking cute. Let's do the other one, make sure the other one's looking cute too. Can't just have one brow looking cute. We have to have both. Okay, so now that the brows are done being filled, in. We're gonna take the Gimme Brow in number three and number four. We're gonna use number three in the front of the brow and we're just gonna comb through. It also keeps the brow hairs looking neat. And then of course we're using the number five at the tail of the brow. The brows are like the most important part of the face for me. It just lifts my face up when I do them. Here's a little trick that I learned from one of my friends back in Washington. His name is Javen. I take some got to be glue, right? And then I put just a little bit, oh, okay, that's all liquid. I just put a little bit on my ring finger and I rub them together. And then what I do is I dab a little bit of product just over my brow hairs. And what this does is it keeps them in place all day. And that's if you're broke like me and you don't have any brow gel that actually works. This is a really good trick that I learned from him. I think he's a her now. Her name is Jay still, I think. I hope. You see that? Okay, so now what we have to do is conceal. I'm gonna be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in um, tan, if I can find it. I'm gonna use a flat concealer brush to apply this underneath my brows to clean it up. I'm a left-handed person, so this is pretty awkward for me. Someone is honking outside. So brows are pretty much done. We're gonna use the MAC little mini palette with like nine shadows in it. We're gonna take this color right here and we're gonna put it all over the eyelids to set it. So what I like to do is I like to pat it down first and then use windshield wiper motions because if I just go in with windshield wiper motions at first, it's gonna start to look really streaky. When I notice when I put this color on my eyes, it's giving me a subtle warmth and I really like that. So now I'm gonna take this Bare Minerals fluffy brush and I'm gonna take this color right here. Don't focus on my face. This is the part where you don't focus on my face. We're gonna take this brown color right here and we're gonna apply that to the crease. This is my first time trying to apply makeup with my like face looking down so we're gonna see how this goes. And again I do have monolids so I will be looking down most of the time and I'll also be keeping my eyes wide the hell open. Am I gonna do a cut crease today? I'm not too sure. We'll find out though. So as I'm applying I barely want any pressure against my skin. This may be a transition color but this has to be one of the most softest colors you apply first. So that way it can look hazy when you start to apply your other colors. And now taking this cool tone dark brown shade, I'm gonna use this to deepen up the crease a little bit more. To so do this, I'm using this small fluffy brush. You wanna be very careful with this step because this can get messy real quick. So we're just using very, very light strokes here. And we're keeping it right below the color that we had earlier. We do not want these colors to be muddy, so I'm not gonna blend any higher. So that's why I'm using this uh, smaller brush, so I can have more control. I'm also keeping my brush strokes really, really soft. This is also another really important step. You don't wanna go ham. You're blending right now. And blending takes time, concentration, and prayer. Now what you want to do is you want to take a big fluffy brush with no product on it and start blending the two colors together. Do it. You must. And then just to add a little bit more definition, I'm going to take the 
second to last darkest shade here, this brown, and we're gonna define the crease a little bit more. Keep it below. This is a dark color, so we do not want to add a lot. We're gonna keep it below the other color we applied earlier as well. But it is creating a really nice gradient effect, and I can see that. I swear, blending brushes with no product will save your life. We're gonna take the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and we're going to cut our crease. Y'all pray for me, I've never done this before in my life. Oh God. Before I do that, I will let you know that I took this small flat top concealer brush. I used this pale shade here to highlight my brow bone. I'm gonna do that actually again because I think it needs a little bit more definition. Sometimes I'm too lazy to use my blending brush, so I take my ring finger and I blend my brow bone highlight into my eyeshadows. As you can see, my lids are all fucked up, but that's because I'm cutting them with concealer. You thought. We'll start small, okay. You know what's scary about me doing this? If I close my eyes all the way, I'm gonna fuck this all up. Keep your eyes open until you set this eye look. Do you hear me? This is dangerous. I'm almost done, oh my gosh. Don't worry, I'm still doing this. If I do this, you think it'll help me? It's kinda helping. You know what, y'all? I'm not even mad at it. I didn't even set it yet. We're gonna use the lightest shade in this palette. Really carving out those edges there, honey. I gotta do the other. I'll be back in two hours. Okay, guys, so I did both eyes. The basic shape of the cut crease is already done. Like, I know we're putting a lot of makeup on, but I hate too much of a heavy eye. So what I did was, instead of building up so much product on my lid, I went ahead and I took this Rimmel London Removes waterproof eye makeup remover and then I took this q-tip and I basically removed all of the concealer and powder that was packed up on my lid and I left the cut crease line where it needed to be because I'm about to put glitter on this and I don't want liquid foundation then powder then glitter base and then glitter on top of my eye that's just way too much I'm gonna put the glitter base on and because I have the outline of my cut crease on already it'll just be easier for me to apply the glitter base I'm gonna be using this J cat yeah J cat all about that base all about that glitter base shadow primer and then we're gonna use this to prime our eyes for the glitter putting that on there see I'm glad that I already have this shape mapped out because it'll be more easier for me to do this part and then the glitter I'm gonna be using today is by JCAT as well and it's this gold glitter you know it'd be nice as if the actual glitter was open for this part of the video. Oh wow, this is gorgeous. Holy crap, this is glittery. It's pretty though, I'm loving it. But I, th <coughs> I think I just ate some. I'm gonna do the other eye and I'll be right back. Okay y'all, that took all but three years. So now we gotta start doing the liquid liner and all that jazz. So whenever you use glitter on your eyes, you have to use a liquid liner or else it's just gonna be all bad. Liquid liners glide on easier than um, gel or obviously pencil whenever you do have glitter on, so please use a liquid liner. Oh, uh, pray for me, please. You know, that's not looking too bad. I like to taper my eyeliner. For me, it makes it look a lot nicer. I go thinner on the inner corners and then thicker on the outer corners. Y'all, look at this liner, it's so cute. Actually, I'm gonna curl my lashes. My lashes stay down. I'm curling my lashes anyway, y'all. Look at this, mm, Rimmel Lash Curler. Honestly, guys, like my whole like space right now that I have going on, looks like glitter just like shit all over it. So now I'm gonna take the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara, the mini one. No one ever does this anymore. No one ever does like this OG makeup thing, but I'ma still do it. And I'm gonna use this for my eyelashes, obviously. Yes. 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 This is also gonna help get that glitter that fell on your freaking eyelashes. Okay, y'all, so the lashes are on. I'm looking kinda snatched. Kinda. Notice I said kinda. I'm gonna prep my lips for the lip color we're using. This is the Tony Moly, like, tomato bomb? I don't know. Tomato cherry bomb. The primer I'm gonna be using today is the Benefit Professional Primer. Go into the skin. I have a shit ton of pores. I have a shit ton of pores in this area right here. And a little bit on my forehead, believe it or not. 
I don't know. I don't know if those are pores, but they do sink in. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna call them pores. I love this primer so much. Bitch, I didn't even shave. I'm gonna go shave real quick. I'm a pretty now. Every night before I go to sleep, I use this confidence in a cream by It Cosmetics. Wow, I probably should get a dimmer light. We're gonna use a mixture between the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and then a mixture of the MAC Studio Fix foundation. I'm gonna be using this Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops and I'm gonna mix this into my foundation so I can have like a dewy glowy finish. Before I do that, I'm gonna take this LA Girl Pro Concealer in Nude to conceal my beaded area. It's a salmon color. So this is gonna cancel out all of the dark hues that I got. I might as well just color correct my entire face. Wow, this hurts a lot, especially after you just got done shaving. Looking like a whole Santa Claus. I'm gonna use this Real Technique sponge and I'm going to blend the hell out of my beard. Yes. <laughs> yes, quite, 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 quite. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I miss Buzzy. Buzz and Lexi. Oh my gosh. Buzz and Lexi, if you're watching this, I love you guys so much. I miss you guys a lot. I miss us hanging out. It was it was amazing. It was amazing. I'm scratching my ankle. Now to set this area, I'm gonna take the MAC Medium Plus Studio Fix Powder. I love this. You see how it has like a little shift sifter? Sifter? I don't know. Let's use this flat top kabuki brush that I don't know the brand name of. I'm sorry, most of the stuff I get from like Jeans Warehouse and Guam and I don't really remember the names of most of these brushes. So I start off with the MAC. You know, I just wish that I had a pump for this. It would just make things a lot easier. Then I'm gonna take a pump of my Too Faced Born This Way, like a couple of drops of this Custom Enhancer in there. Oh wow, that was a lot. Hmm, probably shouldn't have done that. Oh, you know what? After mixing it, it doesn't look so bad. This, this is gonna look pretty orange, but... Hmm. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm loving the way this is looking. I'm actually gonna use a stippling brush. I love when Patrick does this because it just he just makes it look so good. He just stipples all this on and he's just like, hey. It's just like a easier way to do your makeup when you use a stippling brush. Hell yeah. Wow, I'm really running out of foundation on this and I haven't even done my forehead yet. Probably should get that started. Okay, let me just get this, because that's starting to look pretty weird. This is actually making me look kind of glowy, and I fucks with it high key. I just gotta make sure I blend towards my damn neck. And because I like a nice natural finish, I'm gonna take my beauty blender, and I'm just gonna pounce that all over the place. This makes a huge difference. And what I'm gonna do before I put on any powder, I'm gonna put some cover effects drops on the highlighted areas that I want because it's liquid and I don't want it to blend into my under eye powder that I'm gonna put. Those drops made my skin look so dewy. I'm gonna take some cover effects drops and I'm gonna use a booty blender. I'm pretty sure this is a lot, but whatever, we're gonna figure out. Oh wow, that's beautiful. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it all in. Oh, you should probably blend it really fast because it stays this way. Huh, probably should take two beauty blenders at the same time. Okay, I gotta make sure this is blended because those things stay, but it looks good, it looks good. Don't give up hope, just keep blending, oh god. Taking that product on my beauty blender and I'm just gonna put it on, I'm gonna blend it as quickly as I can, look at this. And now to make sure nothing really creases, I'm gonna go over my face one more time with the beauty blender. I need you, like, to now. Now we're gonna take the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and we're gonna highlight our under eyes as well as conceal because that's what the hell this does. Going against the nose bridge because that's what I see a lot of beauty gurus do nowadays. I don't put a whole bunch of lines on my face because I'm all about blending the product as I go. What I do is I'll put it on and then I'll blend it so that way nothing creases because as soon as I put concealer on, I don't want any creases to show up. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight now. I'm going to take some of this Bare Minerals, Bare Skin. So I'm gonna put like a dab underneath. Notice you want the highlighted areas, I, cause I used to make this mistake where I put the highlights all the way up here, but the lighter portion of your highlight should be actually down here. It looks a lot better. I'm making moves. So now, quickly, I take my freaking favorite setting powder of all time, the Patrick Star Powder by MAC. I don't really bake. I don't have the time to bake. I just, I just slap it on. Do I want a big forehead? I say no, so I'm gonna go ahead and not highlight the hell out of it. I'm gonna just put the highlight right here, so that a 
And I usually just, I used to put a big ass line down my nose, but I just decided I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here. Because eventually when I start blending, it's gonna go up here. Eh, right there. And in the chin. I'm gonna take the Bare Minerals and I'll put it right here. And then a tip of the nose, and then just right there, and then right there. This is like the highest points of my face, so I want the lightest colors to be there. Rivera, try not to fuck up the eyebrows. Because my forehead lines are deeper than the Grand Canyon, I'm gonna go ahead and set it really fast with the Patrick Star powder without making any facial expressions. Then setting my, I'm basically just setting all my highlighted areas if you're wondering what I'm doing right now. Look at this brush, it's a Japanese brush. It's really nice. What was I gonna do? It was something important. Oh yeah, I was gonna do the bottom lash line. Taking the MAC eyeshadow palette again, we're gonna go ahead and start from darkest color to lightest now. I'm gonna take the brown shade here. I'm gonna line my lash line with this. This is so everything is balanced and my eyes aren't too top heavy. Now we're gonna take the brown eyeshadow and we're gonna smoke it out. I'm gonna take the Scandalized Eyeliner by Rimmel and we're gonna line the waterline with this. Pray for me, please. I'm just gonna keep it halfway right there. And then also do on the top. This step will help your eyes look more defined. And it'll also help conceal some flesh that's popping through. I should have just said skin. Flesh sounds like a weird word. What the hell is this? Iced Latte. And to highlight, I'm actually gonna use the same mini concealer brush we've been using since like the beginning of this damn tutorial. Yes. Other eye now. To bronze, I'm gonna use this Milani Baked Bronzer. Um, I saw Mama Shar using this in one of her tutorials. And if you guys don't know who Mama Shar is, she's like one of the most known people here on Guam. She's amazing. And when she used this, I was like, good. I've been trying to find a bronzer for my tan skin and I found one because of her. So thank you, Mama Shar. Mm -mm -mm -mm. F is for friends who do stuff together U is for you and me And N is for anywhere Anytime it's all down here in the deep blue sea I'm gonna take a dense contour brush And I'm gonna create a nice deepened contour What are you willing to do? Oh, tell me what you're willing to do I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty contour stick in espresso and then I'm going to contour my face. I saw Manny's review on this, and I saw that he did not like the product on its own, and he used it with a brush, so I'm just gonna use it with a brush just to play it safe. When you use a brush, you can control more of what you're putting on. You just wanna keep on blending and pray to the Lord Jesus Christ. So I'm gonna take the Wet n Wild blush in a, damn, I broke the hell out of this. This is Mellow Wine. It looks red on the brush. Oh wow, that was a lot. Okay, let me calm the fuck down. So I'm gonna take the MAC highlighter in Oh My Darling. Wow, this is such a good highlighter. I cannot forget the nose bridge and the tip of the nose. You know, I probably should have highlighted before I did my lips, huh? Well, but I'm gonna keep his bow now, so can't do anything about that. And now I'm spraying with some Fix Plus. <laughs> okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick outfit change and I'll be right back. What the fuck you doing? Alright guys, so this is the end of the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It wasn't easy for me, but it's okay though, because we did it. We did it together. Honestly, we did it together. Your motivation helped me get through this. But again, thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to smile. Damn.